Hello guys, welcome to my channel. So if you are unable to install or update Minecraft launcher on Xbox app or store because of this error, turn on Windows update error code is 0x800 So if you are receiving this error, then please follow the steps shown in this video. To fix it, type in services in Windows search box and then click on services and then find Windows update in the list. Scroll down here, you can see Windows update. Make a double click on Windows update, set this to automatic. Click on apply. Click on start if highlighted and then click on OK. With Windows update selected, make a right click and then click on if you see start, click on start. If you click on restart, so click on restart. And once this is done, now you can check still not working, then open Windows settings and then go to system and then go to troubleshoot and then go to other troubleshooter and then go to Windows update and then click on run over here and just follow the on screen instruction and then you can check still you are receiving this error then please follow the rest of the steps shown in this video now the first step is to run gaming services repair tool now for this go to xbox app on the top left here you can see your profile icon click on your profile icon and then go to support now over here you can see gaming services repair tool click on gaming services repair tool and then click on start repairing click on yes to allow and let the repair complete so this may take a couple of seconds or maybe a few minutes so let it complete first now once done you can close this and now you can check still not working then go to google type in gaming services repair tool and then go to microsoft website which says xbox support gaming services repair tool for pc now on this website scroll down click on downloadable version scroll down and then click on download the gaming services repair tool for pc and then run this exe file now click on yes to allow and let the repair complete this may take some time and once you see completed successfully now you can check now still you are facing the problem the next step is to log in with same account on microsoft store and with same account on xbox app now for this open microsoft store on your computer on the top right here you can see your profile icon click on your profile icon now click on sign out and then click on sign in click on sign in and then select your account and then click on continue make sure that you select the right account and then enter your pin or password over here now once logged in now go to xbox app and do the same thing so click on the profile icon now click on sign out and then click on sign in and make sure that you log in with same account on microsoft store and with same account on xbox app select the same account over here and then click on continue and once logged in now you can check now still you're facing the problem the next step is to make sure date time time zone and reason is corrected in computer so on the go to windows settings and then go to time and language and then go to date and time and make sure set time zone automatically is on over here also make sure set time automatically is also on so if not on turn it on and then click on sync now make sure that you click on sync now if the sync is not complete click on sync now once again and once this is done now go back to time and language and then go to language and region and make sure your country is selected right country is selected over here now once you select the correct country now you can check now the next step is to now if you are trying to install it from xbox app then try try to install it from microsoft store so if you are facing the problem on xbox app go to microsoft store and then you can just type in minecraft launcher over here and try to install install it from here if that does not work go to library now once you go to library you will see minecraft launcher if you see minecraft launcher over here in the list so find minecraft launcher and try to install it from here sometimes it's in library and you can try to install minecraft launcher from library now if you're facing the problem in microsoft store then in that case you can use xbox app so you can open xbox app and then try try to install the try to install minecraft launcher from xbox app if xbox app is not installed you can even install xbox app from microsoft store and then check so try to install it from xbox app now the next step is to download it from minecraft website so you can go to minecraft.net go to this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to minecraft website here you can see download launcher for windows 10 or 11 and you can run this exe file and then you can install minecraft launcher now it's still not working in that case you can even try this 
download windows legacy launcher so click on download legacy launcher and then you can run this exe file and then you can install minecraft launcher so click on next next install and you can try this legacy version and then check next step is to run this power cell command this command is provided in the video description so copy this command and then type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you run windows powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here hit the enter key now this process will take some time and during this process you will see some errors in red color like this so here you can see some errors just ignore it let the process complete this process will take some time and once this is done you will see all red all the entries in red color so once it is complete now you can restart your computer and then you can check now the next step is to delete microsoft store local cache file now for this go to this location so open file explorer go to c drive now open users folder now open your username folder now open app data folder if you don't see app data on the top click on view select show and then put a check on hidden items you should be able to see app data open app data folder now open the local folder now once you open the local folder find this microsoft windows store folder so scroll down and find that folder in the list sorry after you open the local folder you have to open the packages folder so find packages in the list package package folder here you can see packages so you have to go to this location after you open the local folder now open packages folder now find the folder in the list so over here you can see microsoft dot windows store underscore some alphanumeric character open this folder and over here you can see local cache folder make a right click and delete this folder now you can check next step is to repair or reset xbox app and microsoft store so type in store in windows search box or you can just type in microsoft store once you find microsoft store make a right click and then go to app settings and then scroll down over here you will see the repair option click on repair and once the repair is complete now you can try to install minecraft launcher if that does not work click on reset reset and once the reset is complete you can open microsoft store and then try to install minecraft launcher still not working then do the same thing with xbox app so type in xbox app and then make a right click and then click on app settings and then again scroll down and then you will see the repair option click on repair and once the repair is complete now you can check if that does not work you can again perform reset reset and once the reset is complete now you can open xbox app once again and then try to install minecraft launcher now the next step is to update xbox app and store from store library now for this open microsoft store on your computer and once it is open now on the bottom left you will see the library option click on library now once you select library now over here you will see get updates or update all option so you click on get updates and update all once everything is up to date you will see update all or get updates once it is done now you can check now the next step is to install xbox identity provider and gaming services now for this copy this link the link is provided in the video description open this link in a browser it will take you to microsoft website now over here you will see download option click on download and it will prompt you to open microsoft store so click on open microsoft store and over here you will see install button or get button if you don't see any install or get button that means it is already installed so in my case it is already installed if you see install or get button install it and then check now next step is to uninstall and reinstall gaming services now for this copy this command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell and then click on run as administrator make sure that you are opening powershell as an administrator click on yes to allow and then paste the command over here hit hit the enter key this will un uninstall gaming services from your computer now once this is done now you can run the second command so copy the next command 
copy this command this will install gaming services so copy it and you can paste it on the same window so once you paste it hit the enter key this will open microsoft store and then you will see install option or get option to install gaming services click on it and then click on yes to allow and let the download complete now once the download is complete now you can check now still you're facing the problem next step is to start all these services so the list is provided in the video description so type in services in windows search box and then click on services and then find ip helper in the list make a double click on ip helper set this to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find xbox services at the end you will see all these xbox services make a double click on each xbox services set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click over here set it to automatic again hit apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok again make a double click set it to automatic apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find windows update make a double click on windows update set it to automatic and then hit apply click on start if highlighted and then click on ok now find gaming services in the list so here you can see gaming services two gaming services so make sure gaming services are running here you can see it's running if not running you can make a right click and then you can click on start or restart again make a right click and then click on start or restart if it is already running like this in that case you can stop it and then restart it make a right click stop it and then restart so make a right click and then click on restart or start again make a right click click on start or restart now find microsoft store install service so here you can see microsoft store install service make a double click set it to automatic click on apply click on start if highlighted and then click on, click on ok and then you can check now the next step is to update windows to the latest version now this is very important do not ignore this so go to windows update or update and security and then click on check for update once all the updates are installed over here once it is complete now you can restart your computer and after the system restart you can check next step is to run ws reset command so type in ws reset in windows search box and then click on ws reset and it will open microsoft store now you can check next step is to uninstall and reinstall microsoft store or xbox app so first of all you can type in xbox app in windows search box make a right click on xbox app and then click on uninstall uninstall now once the uninstall is complete uninstall microsoft store so copy this first command this command is provided in the video description type in powershell in windows search box and then make a right click on windows powershell again click on run as administrator always open powershell as an administrator paste the command over here hit the enter key once this is done it will uninstall Microsoft Store from your computer and then restart your computer. And after the system restart, you can copy this command. This command is also provided in the video description. Type in PowerShell once again and then make a right click on Windows PowerShell. Again, run as administrator. Click on Yes to allow. Paste the command over here. Hit the Enter key. It will reinstall Microsoft Store on your computer. And then you can install Xbox app. You can try to install Minecraft launcher from here. You can even, we have already uninstalled Xbox app, so we will install Xbox app once again. So over here, you will see the install button, install it, and then try to install Minecraft launcher from store or Xbox app. Now, the next step is to try installing it to C drive or, D, or different drive. So you can open Windows settings, and then go to system, and then go to storage, now over here scroll down and then click on advanced storage settings and over here you can see storage used on other drives oh, no select the second option which says where new content is saved click on it now over here if you have set it to c drive in that case you can if you have any other drive you can select that other drive 
external drive and then check if over here if you have d drive or e drive selected you can select c drive and then check so try to change the drive over here if it is different drive try c drive if it's already external drive you can try to c drive and then check now the next step is to run inet cpl.cpl so type in inet cpl.cpl in windows search box and then click on inet cpl.cpl go to the advanced tab and then scroll down now over here you can see use tls 1.0 use tls 1.1 use tls 1.2 use tls 1.3 so make sure all use tls 1.0 1.1 1.2 1.3 all four are checked over here make sure it is checked one if not checked checked it check it and then hit apply and then click on ok and then check now the last step is if nothing is working you can update your windows to the latest version using media creation tool if you have windows 10 copy this link if you have windows 11 copy this link windows 10 users go to this website here you can see media creation tool click on download tool now and then run this exe file then you will see the screen click on accept by default upgrade this pc now would be selected click on next it will start downloading windows 10 along with the latest update now this process will take some time now once the download is complete before the installation you will see this screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer so click on install and once the installation is complete log into your computer now for windows 11 users go to this website here also you will find media creation tool click on download now and then run this exe file click on yes to allow now this will load windows 11 media creation tool now click on accept by default windows 11 would be selected click on next select iso file then click on next you can save the location you can set the location as desktop and then click on save over here now once the download is complete click on finish and then go to desktop find windows iso file make a double click on windows iso file then run the setup file make a double click on setup file click on yes to allow this will load windows 11 now and here you can see install windows 11 click on next it will check for update then click on accept again it will check for update now before the installation you will see the screen which says ready to install and by default the option to keep personal files and app would be checked when this is checked you will not lose any data on the computer click on install after the installation log into your computer so one of the steps shown in this video should help you to fix this error so that'll be all thank you so much for your time please like this video and subscribe to my channel